everyone, so this is going to be a slime video, and it's going to be the shampoo slime. So the supplies you will need are something to mix it in, any kind of food coloring that's optional, something to mix with, we're using a spoon, and then any kind of shampoo. Well, we would recommend yeah. this brand. And we have the scent orange and strawberry, because this one's the one that's worked the best for us so far. Now, the next thing you need is a area to mix it on. We have paper plates over there. And then you're going to need some salt. And you might want to have some paper towels close, just in case you spill. So, let's get on with the video. What you do first is you, you have take an empty bowl. You take the bowl. Here, we just um, use the um, um, the orange. orange. We're gonna use the orange skirt, basically. Okay. So you, you take your shampoo and you just pour it in there as much as you want. We're just gonna do a little bit for now, just to show you. And then, and then with it, you just pour in some salt. So. You won't really be able to see it. You pour in some salt and then you mix it. Um, we'll show you what it kind of looks like after. So what you do is when you keep mixing it and then if you need to, you can add a little bit more salt, which we just add a little bit. And um, Brendan will tell you what the food coloring is for and if you want it. Okay, so the food coloring, it's the... Um well, the green, it's like original slime. So green is like original slime. So I like mine to look like original, like because it's green. So like original slime, like if you buy it at a store. It, so might, it might look bad at first, but it'll look better. So as you can see, it's definitely slime now. So now that it's slime, we're going to add a little bit more salt so when you touch it, it won't stick to your fingers. Like, it's a little bit sticking to my fingers, but not a lot. So just add a little bit of salt and then it won't stick to your fingers. So, see, just mixing it around. And then you can get it, like, stretchy and everything. And then when you touch it, oops. I'm going to use a different finger. There's nothing. This is from before. But nothing on my finger. So, yeah. Now, what you do with this is we're going to add some food coloring. So, Brendan, you choose. So, it doesn't matter. Here, I'm just going to show you this. I like the green one, but... So, it doesn't matter if you have this kind or... Come on. He's getting it out. It's hard. It's, like, stuck. These are like and brand new. These are like points. Oh, and so you can use like, either brand, either kind. Doesn't really matter. Oh wait, I'm gonna do green. So we like to do green or blue. We usually do green, but sometimes we mix blue in. So what I do is I put it on the spoon. Um, sorry, you can't see this. So I put some on the spoon and then I just mix it in with the spoon. So it's like mixed in well. And, yeah, so it doesn't, you can make a lot, but you just have to put one or two pinches of salt in it. This looks really big on the screen. Yeah, it's pretty tiny. So it doesn't matter how much you use. Um, you basically just have to put, like, if you make a whole bottle of this, then put, like, a little bit of salt in it. Like, if you put too much salt, it'll become liquidy. So, like, put this much salt for the whole bottle. Blue. So, the blue, we sometimes add, but I'll show you what it looks like now. Yeah, the blue looks really cool also, but I like the original spawn color. Yeah. So, if you want, you can make it darker. We like it a little bit darker than normal because sometimes it just looks weird if it's a little light, so... So, 
yeah, you basically just made slime. And it only takes a couple of minutes. So, yeah. We're not going to show playing with it because that's going to take too long since we don't really have that much time since we're going to make another video. So, yeah. You should go check that one out too. So, this is how slimy it is and how stretchy. We like the other one better, but this one's also really cool. We like the other kind because it's just, it looks cool, and it's like, um, well, this one, when you play it with it in your hands, it feels like cold, and it feels wet, but it's not wet, and it's like not really cold. It's basically, it just feels that way, but like this one, it used to feel wet, but since we kneaded it, now it feels dry, and yeah. The only problem with this one is it's just not that stretchy, but the new one that we're going to make in the next video is going to be really stretchy. So, bye! Okay, thanks for watching, and yeah. Comment, subscribe, and like. Bye! Bye!